When it comes to how long a US aircraft carrier can stay out at sea, it's really all about the refueling. But for the Nimitz-class ships we use today, those reactors can keep things moving for a solid 20 to 25 years without needing any new fuel at all. It's pretty wild to think about. This means the ship can zip across the ocean at high speeds basically forever. The only real reason they have to stop is because the crew needs food and the planes need more fuel and ammo. So, while the ship itself doesn't need to fill up the tank, it still has to pull over every few weeks to restock the pantry. The newer Gerald R. Ford class carriers are taking things even further. They use a fancy new reactor that's way more efficient and easier to look after. These ships are actually designed to go their entire 50-year lifespan without ever needing to be refueled. They'll still need to stop for some midlife tune-ups to upgrade the computers and gadgets, of course. But since they don't have to swap out the nuclear core, they can spend way more time out on the water doing their job instead of sitting in a shipyard. Now, when one of the older Nimitz carriers finally does run low on power, it goes through a massive project called an RCOH. This is way more intense than a simple oil change. Since the reactors are buried deep inside the ship, engineers actually have to cut a giant hole right through the flight deck and several floors below it just to reach them. It sounds crazy, but the Navy uses this open heart surgery as a chance to rip out old, dusty equipment and replace it with the latest and greatest tech that wasn't even around when the ship was first built. This whole process takes a long time, usually about three to four years. During that stretch, they cool down the reactor, carefully swap out the old fuel rods for fresh ones, and get to work on a huge to-do list. They sandblast the hull, repaint everything, fix the catapults that launch the planes, and even give the crew's living areas a much-needed makeover. Lately, because these jobs are so complicated and there's a lot of work to do, some ships have actually been stuck in the yard for over five years. Even though it takes forever, this midlife refueling is a total game-changer. It basically gives the carrier a second lease on life for another 25 years. If they didn't do it, they'd have to retire the ship way earlier, which would be a huge waste of money. 